Can you hear me? Hey, Rahul. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Um, the headphones. Let me get this, uh, hmm? this, uh, this, this thing for you. Where are you in Culver City right now? Uh, I'm in Marina del Rey. I'm here uh, with visiting my brother. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, actually, my lighting. Is All right. So you're recording. Yeah, it's recording right now. Let me uh sit somewhere else so I don't look. Let me find the better lighting. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just want to get the lighting. Okay. Still... You're doing some live videos over the weekend, huh? I just don't have. I'm a the hub has really. Here. All right. Well, let me know. Well, let me know when to start. And uh... um, okay, cool. So, what's up, guys? I am here with Daniel, and Daniel and I met at an entrepreneurship center, and we've been talking about sales and marketing and how to get clients. And we may be working on a mutual client now for an attorney, but um, I wanted to get some feedback on what I helped you with and what you've taken away from it so far. Yeah. Well, um, first of all, man, Rahul, thank you, man. Ever since we just met, I've, the value that you've given me, it's just been amazing. And, uh, it's one of the things that I've gotten from you and actually I'm, I should introduce myself. I'm Daniel Cueva and I'm the founder of QA media group. We're here in Santa Monica, California. And one of the things that Rahul brought was just how to really speak value to clients, right? And it's about how to go come from a place of helping as opposed to selling. And because ultimately that's what we do as professionals. We want to help and we have the tools necessary to do that. And we want to um, figure out who is in need of our help and how we present that. And that's one of the things that, um, or one of the key uh, things that I learned from Rahul. And from that, I was able to, um, he was able to explain how to better present that. Because as digital marketers, we understand what we do. And, you know, but sometimes we can get a little too technical, but it's about educating the client on what it is that they're getting and not only that but understanding them understanding their own value from every customer they get so that we can um, offer better services um speaking about their roi right how is it that we uh, that they um that they should be looking at one customer um it's not just the value the value of one customer isn't just the first time they pay, it's the lifetime value. So it's understanding that and how it's important for the establishment of the company in the long term to understand this value. Um, so I've been able to just from the two, let's say two times that we've spoken, it's just me writing notes just because of everything that he's been able to uh, just deliver. And he comes from a great heart, a heart of just wanting to help out. And uh, so I tu truly appreciate that. And I know that like a lot of people should know or pick his brain because he has done this. He understands how this works better than any of the courses that I've taken, any of the, you know, digital gurus out there. I spend, I've spent thousands of bucks on, on these courses. And this just happens to be one of the most valuable. I actually closed one deal quick, like within a week, um, because of what Rahul actually um, taught me. And awesome. uh, so, yeah, so I what appreciate that. Yeah, of course, my pleasure. What was the dollar amount of that deal? So for six months, we're mm -hmm. doing, so it's 1200 for a month. Um, and it's a one, it's a, it's a one real, real estate client. And uh, so it's, it's 1500. So at six months, we're looking at like six or nine grand. Awesome. Uh, That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Crush it for that campaign and then rinse and repeat and just go out and close because that's, that's the most important thing is if you have you and your brother teamed up together, now you divide and conquer together. Somebody, you now go get the next real estate agent 
and then he delivers all the back end work and then you work at nighttime. So um, just right now, don't, don't settle with the $9,000 guy, go get five or six people in the same industry and then you'll be able to apply the same kind of campaigns with, and then the workload will get a little bit less, if that makes sense, because you're going to be applying very like a buyer strategy or seller strategy or whatever it may be. Um, and then you can crush it together for all the clients because what's going to happen is they're all going to have very similar pain points and problems. Um, and you can probably, you can solve them all together because when you go into, let's say lawyers, realtors, dentists, gym owners, then each problem is very unique. It's very different. And then your brain has to translate all of the solutions and what may work in one may not work in the other. So the power of the niche is that you solve the world's problems for that niche and then you can sell the solution to all their problems, which is typically getting people at open houses to create demand and then finding uh, seller leads so people can list. Because obviously in real estate, they say, if you list, you live uh, because then mm -hmm. you can commissions. But that's exactly. awesome. 9K, that's freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, the, the number one thing I can say is I like, don't worry about the, uh, I wouldn't really worry too much about the execution because you'll work, I'm sure you'll work tirelessly to execute. I would mm -hmm. worry about getting the next realtor, then the next realtor, then the next realtor. And as soon as you feel that happiness inside of that realtor and they express any kind of hint of satisfaction, immediately ask for a referral. Mm -hmm. like, awesome. Hey, I'm glad you gave me that feedback. Is there anybody else that you can think of that I can write down right now and call to help their real estate practice grow? Mm, I see. Because then you just got a double, uh, you just got one lead you earned and they're going to give you the other lead. So that's how you increase the lifetime value of a customer. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you call that person, you reference it saying, Hey, I just got off the phone with X, Y, Z. And they recommended I called you because you're so good at real estate and you would crush it with one of our campaigns. My name is Daniel. Um, and then you can say, look, I'm going to give you the hookup, the same exact rate, the exact same promotion, the exact same deal I gave your friend at whatever that friend's name is. So they feel special. Um, and then you just get a meeting saying, can I set a meeting with you? Mm -hmm. Go, go do a zoom, go to them, um, bring them donuts or coffee, or just ask them say, Hey, do you drink Starbucks or do you do uh, like donuts? I'll bring, uh, I'll bring something to nibble on while we talk. Mm. don't don't do lunch don't ever do lunch just because you're going to be committed to a either too long with the wrong person um b the bill can be big and then c um the distraction of too many people how they may run into people they know um and it's uh it, it's not i don't do lunch for the first meeting i do lunch with clients or if it's a big big opportunity then we do lunch gotcha yeah hmm, that makes sense i'm noting that actually yeah, and and, uh, and and try to pick times. Like if somebody wants to meet in person, um, make sure they're qualified because I've spent so much time driving to Laguna Beach or whatever <laughs> just because somebody said, hey, I want to get a website from you. And my thinking was I want to buy the website from you and I know that I'll, and I'm thinking they'll pay me like 20 grand. Then mm -hmm. I'll drive out there then I'll follow up relentlessly. I'll give them the best proposal. Then I'll drop my price without even hearing from them. And then next thing you know, they have a website already up by somebody else. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I just drove all the way to Laguna beach. I hit traffic both ways. There goes six hours of my life on the road. Mm -hmm. and I didn't even get the deal. Like I couldn't even, so those were the rookie mistakes I made. Um, and the power of the qualifying lead is important because um, you don't want to talk to people that you can't help. You know what I mean? It's kind of, oh, like, that, right. kind of like that analogy that I made earlier. The, uh, uh, what was the analogy? It was, it was the ideal customer is in the hub center, but you're in the civics arts plaza. You can't help anybody because they don't want or need you or can afford you. Because you need those things in the, in the all in the alignment is they, they want to improve, they can't afford you, they can make the decision, and the timing is now because there is no tomorrow. Mm. I see. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, I appreciate the uh, the testimonial, man. Um, you may see your face on an ad that I'm going to retarget you, target you with. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, man. Let's do it. That's totally fine with me. Cool. Um, are you doing something? Are you doing, are you going to start doing the, uh, your course courses? Um, I'm not going to, I've outlined what the course will include. 
Let me make sure this saves. Yeah, I think it's just recording still. Let me stop recording. If we stop, we'll receive an email notification about a BS.